Hi, this is Joe. Welcome back to the shop. In this week's video, we're going to be making a quarter inch rod bender. I have some old scrap square tube lying around. There's no sense in buying any, going over and buying some brand new flat plate. The uh, idea is to use what uh, materials you have lying around. Then I have some half inch uh, hot rolled steel rod. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark a center line using a scribe. You want to use a scribe because you'll get a very small line and you get much greater accuracy than using a felt tip marker or some welder's chalk or anything like that. So whenever possible, use a scribe. So we're going to draw a center line. And then the radius of the half inch rod is a quarter inch. So we, from the center line of the first pole, we're going to have a quarter inch material to the left, quarter inch material to the right. So we want to space from there, have enough material for a quarter inch rod, and then another quarter inch radius of the half inch rod, and then the other quarter inch radius will be on the outside of the outside of the. Uh, the center point of the circle here. So let's go over to the drill press and we're going to drill these two holes. We're not going to drill all the way through. We're just going to drill through the first layer of the square tube. We're going to let the rods rest on the bottom of the square tube and then we're going to partially weld the rods to the square tube so we can have enough clearance to slide in the quarter inch rod. We're over at the drill press. Notice I have the square tube mounted in a vise. Whenever you're drilling metal, or in fact any material, always securely place the material you're, you're going to drill into a vise to hold it. If you hold it by the, your hand, there's a very good chance that when you're drilling, the drill can get caught on the metal and rip that material out of your hands and start swinging it around, which could come off the drill and injure yourself. So always put the, securely mount what you're drilling in a vise. We're going to step drill these two half inch holes. We're going to start out with quarter inch. We're going to drill the two quarter inch holes. Then we're going to step up to a half inch drill and drill the remainder, remain, remainder of the two holes at half inch. That way we can, uh, we can get a little bit more accurate uh, hole size. If you try to drill it all, all at one point, the drill can wander and enlarge the holes a bit. So let's get the drill press set up. Whenever you're going to drill a hole, always use a center punch and center punch the center of the hole. That way the drill, when it comes down the first time, is going to have something to center on. And how you do this is you put your vise loosely on the drill press and line it up as close as you can to the center punched hole and then bring the drill down. And what will happen is that drill point will come in and center itself on the center punched hole once it does that, then you, you can securely hold on to the vise and start drilling your hole. And notice I'm step drilling. I come down, drill a little bit, and then release the pressure on the drill to clear the chips. Also gives a chance to cool off the drill bit. Okay, that's the first hole. Let's turn off and reposition the drill press, or the material on the drill press. Let's drill the second hole. 
again, we're going to line up the drill with the hole and let the drill center itself on the hole. Then we'll tighten our grip. We're going to eyeball that clearance. Take a look, lift up the drill, and it looks pretty centered on the hole. We have our two holes. Let's go over to the workbench and uh, check our fit. We're at the workbench now. We put the two half inch rods in the square tube. Now we can fit and see that the quarter inch round stock goes between and is very snug. So what we're going to do now is go over to the bandsaw, trim off these half inch rods to size, and then what we're going to do is we're going to prep this for welding. We've cut the uh, half inch rod down to size. We have it mounted in the uh, square tube. We have a piece of quarter inch in between. We'll use a magnet to hold those uh, in place while we tack up the half inch rods. Right now I will clean everything up with some uh, paint thinner and then we'll do the tack welding and the welding of the rod. We'll show you the finished product. We've welded the uh, half inch rods to the square tube. We're going to let it cool down and then we'll uh, try to do some quarter inch bending to see how it works. Okay, let's try to bend a real tight bend in a piece of quarter inch rod. just about a 90 degree bend. A little bit more tapping and we will have a 90 degree bend. So uh, for really tight uh, bends with not much uh, sticking out past the bend, uh, it's doing not too terribly bad. Okay, there's our 90 degree bend. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video on uh, constructing a, a quarter inch uh, uh, rod bender. Thanks a lot.